What's going on, hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vong, and welcome to my user experience review on the Zeiss Bodice 135 F2.8. But before we begin, we gotta address the elephant in the room, which is the price you're paying for for the aperture that you'll be getting. It's $19.99 for an F2.8, which got a lot of people on the internet concerned because they can get something like a Sigma 135 1.8 for $13.99. Now, obviously, it's gonna sound like you're gonna get a better deal with Sigma, but consider this. The purpose of the bodice line has never to be about having the widest aperture possible. It's about being high quality, small and compact, and balanced as well with the Sony mirrorless cameras. At the sweet spot of f2.8, it fulfills all of those requirements. If you've ever mounted the Sigma 135 on a Sony or seen images of that combination, then you would know it's huge, it's massive. But for users who don't mind that size or that weight and really want that 1.8 aperture for porches to really turn that background into soft pudding, then yes, go with the Sigma. But for people who are looking for a compact medium telephoto lens for travel, for documentary, for maybe even a little bit of portraits, then the Zeiss Badis is definitely worth considering. Especially since right now Zeiss is running a deal on this lens for $500 off until April 15th, 2018. So be sure to check out the links in the description box below. If you're watching this after the fact, keep your eyes peeled for another sale. All right, we got the pricing out of the way, so let's go ahead and briefly talk about the image quality that you would get out of this lens. And I say briefly because there's really not much to talk about. This is a Zeiss lens. You know it's gonna be sharp. It has that punchy contrast that's gonna give you that Zeiss 3D pop in your photos and videos. Because it's a medium telephoto lens, you're gonna be able to capture a lot of details, which is perfect when you pair it up with high resolution cameras like the A7R series. Now, going back to the aperture, f2.8 is still considered pretty fast. With today's Sony cameras like the a7S II and the a7III, we can be a lot more flexible going up on the ISO. Combining the f2.8 with the compression that you get out of this lens, this is a portable bokeh machine, perfectly suited for portraits, weddings, landscape, travel, documentary, and many more. Again, for what it is, the Zeiss 135 is incredibly light. It just feels so balanced on my Sony a7R III. Compared to the 7200G Master, the 135 is easier on the arms and on the shoulders, especially if you'll be out on a long shoot for eight to 10 hours. Which brings me to weddings. I love using this for wedding films because it allows me to be very unobtrusive and I'm getting a really good reach of my couple where I'm never in the way of the photographers and my partner who would be shooting wide on the gimbal. It allows me to be subtle, capturing raw, genuine moments of the couple in between takes where they don't feel posed. Even though this is a prime lens, if I needed more reach, I can switch to Super 35 mode on my camera, which crops into my image, effectively making this lens 202 millimeters. The Zeiss 135 has optical image stabilization, which is incredibly helpful for nailing focus when taking photos. Now, I wouldn't hand hold it for videos though, just because it is a 135. It will magnify the jitters on the edges. But if you have it on a monopod, not only does it balance well, but it's also very rock steady. The autofocus performance is blazing fast and reliable, especially in video mode. But if you need to manual focus, the bodice lenses have an electronic OLED display for accurate readings of focus distance and depth of field. But honestly, I just leave it on just because it's dope as fuck. <laughs> Lastly, this lens is weathered and dust sealed, so it is prepared for extreme conditions. Again, the bodice line has always been about being small and compact to fit the ideals of using mirrorless cameras without sacrificing quality. Having a lightweight setup and not being bogged down by the size allows us to focus more on being creative and capturing the moment. So if you're looking for a portable lens that's going to give you a good amount of reach, nice compression, and that isolation ability, definitely consider the Zeiss Bodice 135 f2.8. If you're planning on buying this lens, be sure to check the description box below to save $500, making this lens $14.99. And drop in the comments letting me know if you also think f2.8 is enough and you value compactability. Or if you're someone who don't mind the size and the weight and just want that sweet 1.8 soft pudding. Guys, thank you so much for watching this review. I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. What happened? I don't think I've ever seen a bumblebee in my life. Things are furry. They're queen bees. They'll attack you if you go too close to it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Damn birds.
Don't stop at this tree, don't stop at this tree, don't stop at this tree. Oh, it's carrots! You never... I should be taking photos. How do you know they're carrots? I should have been taking photos. I don't know why I have a freaking... A green. Carrots are green? Carrots are green. Oh my gosh, I fail as a photographer.